Okay, this is part C of the Introduction to Econometrics Intuition lecture, and as we saw in the first part, we can model the relationship between something we'd like to explain, price in thousands and horsepower, with a line. Now we can use curves, and we'll do that later on, but we just start off with a straight line, and we find the equation of that line, and we said that uh, for all cars, a car with zero horsepower should cost about minus four thousand dollars and the slope is about one hundred and seventy six dollars per horsepower then we said well let's look and see what if we try to in include another variable here by breaking the data into two parts domestic cars here and import cars below that uh, let's see if there's the same line or different lines that appear to us to explain domestic cars versus imports. And so the y-intercept here for domestic cars looks to be about zero and the slope about 0.12. And for import cars the y-intercept looks to be negative, maybe minus five, and the slope about 0.18. Now everybody can see different lines. Uh, the computer will give us the same line when we get to that part but I just want to show you that these two parts of the data look like they do have different relationships and so you want to be able to build that into your explanation of the world or your model. We've got two equations y equals minus 5 plus 0.18 horsepower which would mean for an import with zero horsepower would cost negative five thousand dollars. We don't take that seriously though keep in mind. Uh, the slope, though, about $180 per horsepower, 0.18 thousand, $180 per horsepower for an import. Now, domestics start off costing more. Hey, a, a car with zero horsepower is free. But each horsepower costs less, 0.12, or $120 per horsepower, which kind of makes sense for the early 90s. We had a lot of cheap cars like Toyotas uh, for the imports with low horsepowers that were very economical vehicles. But if you wanted a powerful vehicle, uh, Cadillac, uh, Corvette, Firebird, something like that, or, or a truck, then an American car is probably the cheaper way to go, cheaper additional horsepower versus if you look at a car that's a powerful import you're talking about a very expensive BMW, maybe Porsche, maybe Ferrari, something like that, even though there are no Ferraris in, in this particular data set. So we have two different relationships. Uh, rather than just one equation, this is what the, the Greek letters uh, look like when you write this uh, econometrics notation out. The price I, the price for each individual car, 1 through 93, that's the I, it's equal to some y-intercept plus some slope times horsepower of the individual car plus some error term here. Uh, we can combine these two equations into one and here's what that equation would look like and this looks uh, pretty complicated but it's not as bad as it looks. Here we're bringing in this domestic car attribute and the way we bring that in is with a dummy variable. Now a dummy variable is either 0 or 1. And since I've named this variable domestic, domestic a 1 means yes, domestic 0 means no. Same thing over here, you see the same variable. And here's basically the way this one large equation works for uh, representing these two equations is that first let's take the idea that domestic equals zero. Well if domestic equals zero we're talking about imports. So dom equals zero. Talking about imports. What was the equation for imports? Well minus five plus 0.18 times horsepower. And so if we plug in zero into this equation what happens? Well, B1 times 0, this term disappears. This last term will also disappear. B3, which is a slope, times a domestic 0, 
times horsepower. Well, all that's zero. And so what we're going to end up with is just the equation for imports. B0 will be the y-intercept for imports, minus 5. So what we found out is that B0 equals minus 5. That's our estimate. And this second term will not be there. What about this third term? Oh, well, that's just the slope times horsepower for imports because this part over here will disappear. We'll only have two terms. So B2 is just the slope of horsepower for imports. So B2 equals 0.18. What are these other terms going to be? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to tell us how can we translate this line for imports and change this line for imports into the line for domestics. And there are two things we need to do to convert this line into this line. The first thing is we have to change the y-intercept from minus 5 to 0. Well, how do you change minus 5 into 0? If it's a domestic car, what's going to happen? Well, we still have this minus 5 for the imports, plus we're going to add in some other number times 1 because it's a domestic car. What do we need to add to the minus 5 to turn it into the domestic line? Well, we need to add 5 because minus 5 plus 5 will give us that 0. So this B1 is equal to 5. And what's the intuition here? This coefficient times this dummy variable just tells us the difference between the two intercepts. What is the intercept when it's not a domestic? What do you need to do to change it into the intercept for a domestic to make it zero? Minus 5 plus 5 will cancel out. What's the other thing you need to do to turn this line into this line? Well, this line has a slope of only 0.12, and this line has a slope of 0.18. So we need to take this line and tilt it downward by 0.06 if it's a domestic car. So how do you turn 0.18 into 0.16? You subtract 0.06. So B3, this number, is equal to 0.06. And so what do we end up with? If we put all this together, our whole big equation to explain the price of a car is going to be the price of a car is equal to minus 5 plus 5 times, well, times 1 if it's a domestic car, times 0 if it's not, plus B2 times horsepower. And that's going to be 0.18 times the horsepower of the car. But then if it's a domestic, that's 1. If it's a domestic car, then we'd need to subtract 0.06. Oh, sorry, that should be minus 0.06. We're going to subtract 0.06 off of the slope, so minus 0.06 times the horsepower, in order to get a more accurate representation of the price of a domestic car. Let's use this uh, really quickly to see uh, how we'll get the, the two equations back. And so if we wanted to predict the price of a domestic vehicle, then it would be uh, minus 5 plus 5 plus 0.18 times horsepower minus 0.06 times horsepower. And if you just collect those terms, the minus 5 plus 5 cancel to 0. The, um, so I apologize for my typing here, the 0.18 times horsepower and the minus 0.06 times horsepower will cancel or, or collect into being 0 0.12 times horsepower, right? And so you just plug in a horsepower there and you're going to end up with the same prediction you'd get for the domestic equation, um, 0 plus 0 0.12 horsepower. But for a, an import, then you're going to have minus 5 plus 5 times 0. Well, that's just 0. Doesn't influence it. Plus 0 0.12. 0.18 times horsepower. Okay, and then minus 0.06 times 0 
oh well times horsepower that that just goes away minus zero and that's how you would uh, predict the price of an import car it ends up being the same thing either way so what we'll do next is I'm going to introduce you to a program called R where we can actually put this data in here into the computer and get estimates of what the correct estimates for these are without just drawing lines by hand.